Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is the second time I'm filming this video. I tried to film it on Sunday and a... <laughs> this is so stupid. And a body wash bottle exploded into my eye, burned my eyeball. I had to wear glasses and when I wore the glasses, the ring light was reflecting in them in a green color. I don't know why in green. And it looked like I had like laser alien eyes the whole video and it was like way too distracting so i decided i need to refilm um so today's video is my home decor haul i purchased a bunch of things for the new house we are gonna bring it over to florida when we move um the last weekend of february and i just wanted to share them with you because i know a lot of you are excited to see moving vlogs and home decor and furniture videos and all of that everything home related so i thought i'll do a little part one and um, I will do a lot more once we move. There's a lot of things inside the house that we purchased that we just directly shipped to my in-laws. So there is a lot more things that I'll show you. I also spend way too much money at um, the container store to do my pantry. So that will be probably an entire video on just pantry. I want it to look like the home edit. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'll start with this big basket that I got at the World Market. Anything that I can, I will link. Um, some of these things were gifts, and some of them I got at Home Goods, and so I can't really find them online. Uh, but whatever I can, I will link for you. So this basket is a lot bigger than it shows in the camera, and you probably can't see, but um, it's wicker, but it's lined with almost looks like paper mache to where it's really stiff and heavy duty and i really love that it just gives it like a different look than a typical basket and it's just like really it's heavy it's sturdy it's hard like you can't easily i don't think you'll be able to ruin it easily if like george tries to get in there or something and i thought this would be perfect for the living room for either dog toys or for blankets i want to i want like the whole house to just have really relaxing vibes um a lot of like natural material beigey i'll probably throw in some color here and there but i just want it to be like a relaxing oasis i've always wanted my house to be like that um i don't want a lot of clutter i just want a lot of like natural pieces and so i thought this would be really nice i love the handles on this um and this one was 39.99 i got it in person i saw it i was like i have to get this so this is like my favorite piece and we're gonna have to somehow take it in the car because i'm scared that it'll get ruined if i try to put it in the um we're doing a pod so they're moving for us so i'm scared this will get ruined so i have to um, bring it in the car if you ever moved with a pod let me know what your experience was now another thing um this i got at home goods is this beautiful rose quartz uh box it's just like a solid stone or maybe pieces i don't know but it's rose quartz and it's really really heavy it's thick it's like half an inch thick this is super heavy too the lid um and i just loved it i think it would look really nice on the coffee table and i this one was 50 dollars, so it was expensive if you follow me on Instagram, I did a poll there when I asked you, where I asked you if I should get it or not. And a lot of you said to get it. And I knew I have to because I don't think I'll come across anything like this again. Um, it's just, I don't know. I just, I love the natural look of it. Um, I'm thinking maybe to put like remotes in there or something just to hide them and not have the clutter on top of the coffee table. So we'll see what I'll do with it. But I knew I had to pick it up. My whole theory with decorating this house is that I don't want to buy a bunch of things and then just to buy them, like I want to wait until I see things that I really, really love instead of forcing to just decorate and finish up the whole house really quickly. I'd rather wait, have it take me months or even a year and really make sure that I love every single piece that goes in there or else to me it's just a waste of money. So whenever i go to stores i kind of look around but i don't go in there with like a, anything specific in mind because i don't want to buy something just to buy it you know um another thing i got is i got three of these baskets this is from 
Target threshold. It's just called the woven basket and it was, I think it was $12. I got three of them thinking that I will put these on each toilet because um, they have a lid. So I thought it would be nice to go on top of the toilet, put like an extra toilet paper in there, maybe tampons, poopery, something like that, um, just for guests to like have extra supplies if they need them. Uh, but then I realized that the flusher on our toilets is on top of the toilet and not on the side. So I don't know if I'll put it on top or if I will maybe keep it like for our linen closet to put like extra makeup in or something like that. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I have three of them. And I think for $12, it's a pretty good investment. They're pretty big and fit a lot. Um, so yeah, I got three of these. Another thing, and this is like a totally random order. Another thing I got at Target that same day that I got um, the baskets was this mat. So this is like an area mat. Is it called an area mat? Accent rug. It's called an accent rug. It just looks like this. Let me try to capture the color better. And what I got this for is to put it under the... Um, Oh my god, I can't think. The mat in front of the front door that you like clean your shoes on. Doormat. Duh. <laughs> the doormat. Uh, I'm gonna put it under the doormat to layer it and so that way I feel like it just looks nicer. I've seen it a lot on Pinterest, um, even on Instagram where there would be the doormat with like something underneath it. A lot of times it's like a black checkered mat um, but I really like this one because it's light in color and kind of gives me that like beachy Florida vibes and it has uh, tassels so I really like that and yeah another thing this is like super random order another thing I got at Target is this lemon candle this is from the brand um, Heath and Hand with Magnolia this smells so good like it's a lemon candle but it doesn't really smell like lemons even though I love the smell of lemons like in anything candles perfumes room sprays body wash anything like that i love lemon scents but this one it's like lemon with magnolias or i don't know it's some sort of a really floral lemon but it's not like powdery or old or anything like that or overpowering it's just fresh and it smells beautiful and i wanted to burn it here in this apartment so badly but i was like no i have to wait so we move into the house and make it like a treat. So once we move the first day, I will be burning this candle. I love the jar as well. I'm probably going to keep it. I wish it didn't have like the lemon on it, um, but I can just turn it around. So this is really, really pretty. And what I want to do is my friend bought me this really pretty um, wicker basket to put on the island. And so I want to put like some crystals on it, the candle something else maybe, I don't know, and make it into like a little, almost like a little centerpiece. So I'll put the candle on the island. Another thing I got is this big crystal covered. It just, I forget the name of this crystal. I have it in the back of my hand. I'm sure a lot of you know, they come in either sticks or towers a lot of the time. I picked up this big tower uh, for $29.99 at Home Goods. And they had bigger ones and also smaller ones. And the reason I got this is because the other ones wouldn't sit straight when I put them down. Like the bottom was crooked. So I got this size and I think it would look really pretty on that wicker tray that I told you about on the kitchen island. So when Nordstrom had their anniversary sale this year, this past August, I got two Barefoot Dreams blankets. I got this one right here, the white one. It's in my bed every night, keeps me warm. And then I got um, a leopard one from Barefoot Dreams as well, like a light leopard one. But I wanted one more for downstairs for the couch. Um, the leopard one is going to go upstairs. We're going to have like a movie room. So that's going to go there. This is going to go in the master bedroom. So I wanted one for downstairs. And they had sales again. And I bought this one. This one, it still was expensive. The original price is $180. I got it for I think $130 or something like that, um, so it's still really expensive, but it's so soft and now I know how to wash them. I have ruined them in the past where I would wash them in hot water, put them in the dryer and use a drying sheet and you're supposed to just wash them in a cold water and just lay them flat to dry. 
so that's what i'm gonna do from now on so they actually last me um but i just took advantage of the sale and this is a new design too so i really really loved it and now a couple more things from there's one from target and two from amazon so the amazon ones uh, my sister got for me so i'm not gonna open this but this one is uh for the pantry or the fridge it's a can dispenser and it just looks like this and uh we don't drink so soda at all but we do drink uh seltzer out of a can so i thought this would save us space and kind of just look nicer because she did ask me what i want and i sent her like my entire amazon card and then she got me this thing it's called kraus and it's a uh drying rack so i'll show you what it looks like if i can open it okay so it looks like this so what it is it's a drying rack that you put on top of your sink so if you so the sink that we have is like split in two so what i want to do is put this on top of one of the sides and that way when we wash things that are hand wash only that we can't put in the washing machine or in the dishwasher then i'll dry it on this as opposed to having like a separate drying rack as opposed to having like a separate drying rack um on the on the side of the sink and that way it just takes up a lot of space and it's such an eyesore we have one here and i hate looking at it and it takes up so much room and there's like pots lined up on top of it and it's just i just hate it so i wanted something that i can put on top of the sink and as soon as things dry just put it away and hide it and this one you can roll out and then roll back and it's super heavy like this is like aluminum in there or something and so it's not gonna give in and fall in it's really really heavy and it's covered in rubber and then the last thing let me pick it up this is heavy um the last thing are water glasses and these are from target i got them from my sister as well um this is just a set of 12 and we have water glasses now but they're really big and bulky and heavy and i just don't like them and i wanted a set where they have um shorter ones and taller ones so i got this and they are just really clean cut simple not much to it like they're just really easy and simple and they come with six of this height and then six of a little bit of a taller one that's on the bottom so i'm not gonna open it and it's called the Project 62 Alpha Tumbler Set. Dishwasher safe. So um, that's it for my home haul. Like I said, there's a lot more coming. I'm going to vlog the move. And probably my next video, I think it's going to be a vlog where I just kind of share what i've packed so far what i have to pack the boxes we got stuff like that uh peter is going to florida on thursday and so i'll have like i'll be home by myself i'll probably just vlog all day um so that's coming up and if you have any videos you want to see either now or once we move into the house anything home related let me know so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye